Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'll show you how to do five axis planes on this part. Here it is, it's octagon shaped. We have uh, two videos on this part. One about making a stock model, the other one about making a fixture. And this video, I'm just gonna show you how I set up my planes so we can mill the top and all the sides. Three plus two style. So 100 stands for operation one and we need to hit all eight of the sides. So the next side will be called 101. Click manual, change it to zero, hit enter. Now go up to the plus, click from solid face and pick your first face. So that looks like it's rotating correctly. I'm gonna name the plane 101 and manual is going to be zero. So it's 101 because 100 is our touch off plane and 101 is our first rotation. So we're going to rotate this plane around. Click the check. Call that 102. So operation one, rotation two. And manual has to be zero. So manual has to be zero because unless you, if you don't click zero, it's going to make each rotation on a different work coordinate system. If they're all on zero, it's going to be all G54. If they're all on separate ones, it's going to be G54, 55, 56. So this one is 103. Operation one, rotation three. Now, you don't have to call it 100. That's just what I like to do to remind myself of what operation I'm at. So when I go back later in my program, if I have to rerun it, I can quickly find where I need to go. You could, you know, call it op one, side one, op one, side two. You can call it whatever you want. But I think the idea is to have them all correlate with each other. That's 105. Now the machines I work on, they use kinematics. So it doesn't necessarily matter where you put that work coordinate system on the face because Mastercam and the kin kinematics figure out where to move the machine and they know exactly where the part is. That's 106. Looks like we got two more left. This will be one zero seven. Manual click on zero. to be the last plane. My machine rotates 90 degrees and 90 degrees. You guys will have to figure out which way to rotate your work hornet system. Okay. So we have all eight sides done. Let's highlight them all and check it out. So as you can see, that numbering system helps tells us like which side we're going to do first and it's all numbered and it's all very easy to understand in my next video I'll show you guys how to program this part and how to do the planes and all the parameters in your toolpaths um, subscribe for more videos and we'll see you later thanks